all came down to the sun. If you had X-ray eyes, what appears as a nice, friendly yellow ball would appear like a raging tiger. The sun is an incredibly violent beast and is throwing out a great explosion and uh, puffs of gas. An endless solar wind is forever rushing past. We're, in a certain sense, inside the atmosphere of the sun. mountain ranges, valleys, mesas, and uh, this normally uh, is caused by the action of water. We see it in great detail in the images, in color, and we can sort of do instant science in this image. Giovanni Schiaparelli made an historic observation. He saw the surface of Mars crisscrossed with a network of lines which seemed to connect the dark areas. He called them canali, or channels. The American astronomer Percival Lowell was so intrigued by Schiaparelli's findings that he built an observatory in Arizona dedicated primarily to the observation of Mars. Over a period of 20 years, Lowell and his assistants kept a nightly vigil whenever Mars was in the sky. A very important clue in the Martian mystery was uncovered by Lowell. When the polar caps increased in the fall and winter, the dark blue-green areas turned a brownish purple and grew fainter. With the coming of spring and summer, the polar caps receded. The blue-green areas gradually appeared again. This led Lowell to believe these regions must be great expanses of vegetation, irrigated by the melting snows of the ice caps. Lowell theorized that this was accomplished by the large network of canals. He realized that it was impossible to see a clear picture of Mars because of the disturbing movement of the Earth's atmosphere. Nevertheless, he maintained that the canals appeared too symmetrical and well organized to be accidental. Lowell concluded Mars to be a dying planet inhabited by intelligent beings who with their giant network of waterways were fighting a desperate battle for survival. Thank you. 